With Mr. McKenna's learning, it's learning of a different kind. With Mr. McKenna's learning, I hope that you might find something new that you have never tried before. Just some stuff to stop your brain from getting bored. No! <laughs> yeah, it was at the bottom of his bag. It was always going to be there. Yoo-hoo, hi! Uh, hey, going to learn some new words today, and the foreign words. I like learning a new language. Um, I'll just put my list down. Uh, and it's fun to do that, but the thing is, I've, got, I've chosen some silly words. In England, hopefully, you, you'll be familiar with this word. If we can't quite think what that thing is, the real name for it, we say, um, oh, what's that whatchamacallit? Whatchamacallit. That's our word in England for something if we're not sure what it is. So I found out the words in other languages, and there's a top seven I'm going to share with you. And let's see if you can remember any of these to use instead of using the word whatchamacallit. Top seven words for things you, for the name you think of, of the thing you can't think of. Did that make any sense? Let's go. Number seven. In seventh place, England with thingamajig. What's that thingamajig? We've got two words. What's that whatchamacallit? That thingamajig. Number six. At number six, from Spain, chingadera. Chingadera. Number five. Is Denmark with himstigims. Himstigims. Number four. A nice one for number four, from Japan, nanny nanny. Nanny nanny. Number three. All right, we're into the big three here, and it's good. They're all good. Number three, from Turkey, the Mazingo. The Mazingo. Number two. Number two is clinched by Germany with Dingsbums. Dingsbums. Number one. And here it is. The number one favourite word for something you can't think of comes from the Dutch. Where did the Dutch come from? What country is that? I'll let you find that bit out. The number one word is... Huppledy-pup. Huppledy-pup. I'll leave you with that. Thanks very much. Look after yourselves and each other. Bye.